and I'll probably do a show later on, they're after our clergy. Have you seen what's going on with Father Altman? We must defend Father Altman. Earlier this week, I said we must defend Father Altman and nothing had come out yet because I knew in the back of my mind something's going to come out against Father Altman. Surprise, surprise, it came out yesterday. Father Nolan, Fraternity of St. Peter, also called into the bishop's office in Denver for saying that the mandate to wear a mask in liturgy is contrary to reason, contrary to the common good, which are two conditions for a just mandate or a just law, according to Thomas Aquinas, and therefore not obligatory upon the lay people. He also got in trouble. And it seems that the fraternity of St. Peter in general might be in trouble on this. Isn't it interesting that the bishops will mandate a mask, but they won't mandate modesty standards. They won't mandate chapel bells. It's interesting, isn't it? One of the saddest things about being Catholic in 2020 is living the experience of Padre Pio. Padre Pio was a holy man, a good priest. He had the stigmata. And the persecution that Padre Pio experienced culminating in the 1960s was persecution not from Roman centurions, not from French Jacobites, not from uh, Henry VIII. The persecution that Padre Pio received was from within inside the church. He was persecuted by his fellow priests and by his own hierarchy. And that pattern now echoes and becomes louder and louder as the decades have rolled on since the 1960s. We as Catholics are experiencing the eter internal, the internal persecution. And when you look at Father Altman or Father Nolan or any of these priests who dare to speak about traditional Latin mass, uh, traditional orthodoxy, the rights of the church over the state, not the other way around. You see, governors don't get to tell bishops what to do. That's not how it works. These priests are receiving persecution from the inside. Father Frank Pavone, he gets called off and says, hey, you can't do anything with that Trump campaign. Meanwhile, we see James Martin and others flouncing around promoting, saying, yes, Father Haran, Dan Haran, yeah, you can vote for Joe Biden. Follow your conscience, follow your conscience. Same old 1960s, 70s, kumbaya, Jesuit. Blech. 